An often neglected item on a lot of gliders after heavy landings, ground loops, just normal annual inspections, anything like that, is to actually physically look at the spar bush where the main pin of the glider goes in. This is an incredibly critical part of the glider. Without the main pin, in some gliders like SUV 19s, KTM 21s, the wings would simply fold up. On other gliders like a discus, they actually hold the wings together. Without a main pin, there's a good chance they'd fall off on takeoff or landing. After heavy landing, on some types of gliders in particular, they get put under immense stress. For instance, on a LaBelle or Kestrel or things to be Vega, it's not uncommon after a ground leap or heavy landing to find the main pins bent, which means you can't take the main pin out. And the fix for that is you have to get a hacksaw blade, wrap it, half of it in tape, and spend the next half an hour with two fingers um, sawing through the main pin whilst it's still in place. Only once you've sawn through it can you actually get the wings um, out and get the main remains of the main pin out. Then of course you have to buy a new main pin. The reason for this video is to remind all the spectators and owners of you watching this the importance of the main spar bush and more importantly how to actually check it. A lot of people just put a pin in it, wobble it around, see how much play in it and take it out. They don't actually look at the bush thoroughly and actually see whether the bush is firmly attached to the wing. Um, look at these two next two videos and if you find that when you put your main pin in the bush it isn't attached very well, it is wobbly, don't just um, randomly take it out and glue it back in again or anything like that. Uh, if the glider is supported by Shemp, Slikers, DGs, whatever, go back to them and actually get a proper repair scheme. It's an incredibly primary piece of equipment. Um, a wobbly spar bush that starts moving around in a wing can easily lead to a huge amount of damage and possibly um, the wing falling off. So don't just guess a repair scheme if you have a problem. Actually find out what the repair scheme is and get it fixed. That's one.